In this video I'd like to demonstrate a speech recognition system that I built many many years ago. I recently watched an episode of EEV blog number 713. In this episode Dave demonstrates a VCP 200 voice recognition chip from the 80s. After watching that video I was kind of inspired to show what I had done back in the late 80s. So this is an IBM AT. Last time I had turned the PC on it only ran for a couple of minutes and it powered back down. As it turns out, one of the tantalum caps on the large hard drive actually shorted out and it took down the 12 volt supply. I since changed out that cap, reformatted the drives, uh, so software's back on and it should be ready to go. This is a realistic microphone that I purchased many years ago. Brand new. This is kind of what it looks like. And we'll be using this for the demo. And this is the small preamplifier, probably the highest tech piece of the whole demo because it's got some surface mount on there. But this will be the preamplifier for the microphone. The software for this demonstration is all written in assembler. I'm using an 8 bit A to D and an 8 bit DAC to digitize the sound. Uh, at the time I developed this, there was no Sound Blaster or other sound cards available at the time. Uh, so people were rolling their own. Um, one of the things that was common to get sound out of the PC was to use the printer port and wire a DAC to it and then amplify that signal. So people would just bit bang the printer port to get their audio out. Um, I built the board primarily as a way to play with an A to D on the PC. So the board is all wire wrapped sitting inside the computer. So I'm going to show a couple of things with this. Uh, I'm going to start with the sound um, recording playback functions. So the speech system that I'm going to demonstrate, it's not speaker independent like the one that was shown. Uh, this actually requires it to be trained. You start by entering in a word. You'll repeat the word several times. It'll build a signature pattern from that. And that, that signature will be stored away into a database, which then will be retrieved and compared against as words are spoken. It may sound trivial, but at the time, I remember uh, I spent quite a bit of time working math on this, and uh, yeah, not quite so easy as it sounds. It's one of the features of this board. I had made a uh, log on, so when this board's plugged in, you have to log into the system. This may have been the first time a login prompt was used on a PC. So this is the main program. You can see here we can uh, play back memory, record memory, record to disk, play back a disk file, copy memory to disk, copy disk to memory, select a different channel, view time domain, continuous recording, playback, train the system, word recognition. I have a higher speed A to D that I was playing with. It's an AD573. Uh, I was using that to digitize up to 40 kilohertz. So if I just hit uh, record, with our trusty microphone here. I'm going to do a record to memory. My dog is lazy. My dog is lazy. Once it's been recorded into memory, we can view it in time domain. I can reverse the playback. He's 
nails it. No, I don't. My dog is lazy. I can change the buffer size. So with the buffer size reduced now to 2CF0 out of FFFF, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select replay a segment here. So now it's just continuously replaying this segment. Now we can increment the start point. It also increase the size. Also change the speed. Elephant. 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 